could you give me a, a quick overview of your results and um, is there anything in particular that stood out for you during this period? I think mean, obviously the, the, the results have been affected by COVID um, and the, the lockdown that's happened. Um, up until uh, well, we, our half year results, we had really restructured a certain part of the business and it actually um, made sure that we were stable going forward. I think up until middle of March when the lockdown was announced, trading was fairly um, normal. Um, but as soon as the lockdown was announced, then um, people started uh, preparing to, to go into lockdown. Nobody expected it to last this long. Um, and I think then the results, our results have really been clouded by three factors, or, or, or two of them orientated around COVID, the, the, the effects of the lockdown in the fourth quarter. And then again, the, the effects that we see in terms of both what has happened and what we see going forward in terms of forecasts, we had to impair or write off um, our trademarks, a uh, large portion of the goodwill for Craig for and impair some of our properties because the rental rental rates that we were charging and they were due to be renewed had to be uh, reduced going forward. And then the last one was um, with the change of the first 16 where we had to capitalize leases. So there's a defective, we now have depreciation and interest rather than the lease, lease effect. So it has clouded our, our results a little bit. Uh, just, but despite that, our operating profit was only down 6% and our headline earnings were uh, marginally up, um, it's four, well, 3% up marginal. Um, oh. Yeah, sorry. Oh. sorry. I think the other thing is that we, you know, we, I can actually be very happy with the management in terms of the fast and effective response that they did in terms of the COVID crisis to look after the people and also defend the cash and make sure we paid all our suppliers on, on time. I think another consequence of that is unfortunately, it's the first time we've actually missed the payments of a dividend. Okay. Yeah, um, in the, the nine months up to, to March 2020, the South African economy um, on which your group is largely dependent, I mean, failed to show any growth and continued to be, as your, uh, as already says, to be hamstrung by various factors. I mean, how does the company actually intend to, to recover from this going forward? I think one of the benefits of the last quarter has made us all, uh, made us all focus acutely on, on what we can do for what we believe is the next normal. And as a result of the executive teams are really focusing on uh, our people, our premises, and our working capital, mainly the stock, to make sure that we're efficient and effective um, in a very much lower, a smaller economy. Okay. okay. Great, thank you. I mean, um, and then there was also mention of the restructuring of your lighting division, which is now largely finalized according to the release. I mean, could you talk to me a bit on this, um, maybe give me a little more insight? And I mean, are there any other restructuring options in the pipeline or is there something um, the business would need to consider post-COVID? No, I think from, from, from our point of view is that the uh, combination of, of Eurolux and Radiant has definitely taken longer than we anticipated. Um, we, for various reasons, the, the actual physical move of the Johannesburg premises only occurred in December. Um, and when we got going in January, it wasn't as efficient and effective as, as we would have liked it to be. We had teething problems. And before we could actually arm those out, we landed up with, with being in lockdown. So it delayed the process even further. Um, but fortunately, most of the, we've now out of the, the, the Limbro Park premises and we're now saving that rent. Um, but as I said earlier, all the divisions are really look acutely focused on, the, on their, are looking at their people and their premises. Um, and the electrical tool division is, is in the process of implementing the Manhattan Warehouse Management System um, to, effect, to change or, or modify their distribution model to make it as effective as possible. And as a result of that, we are seeing, and we are unfortunately seeing um, retrenchments in, the, in, the, in both divisions. Um, great, thank you. Those are the, the specific questions um, I had. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in particular that you would like to add or maybe highlight for us? 
I think I'd, I'd like, just like to make sure that, that I give credit to my management teams. It's been an incredibly challenging year. And I think the, the time and dedication that they normally put in, but it was an ex extra special effort during this last quarter. And, um, you know, as a result of that, they made sure that we actually put people first during this, this lockdown and that we protected the people, enjoy, uh, implemented all the health and safety things that we needed to do um, when they returned to work. And um, really just tried, tried to make sure that we protected the, biz, the people and the business. And I'd, I'd really like to thank them.